morning. Welcome to my channel. I am sharing my Thanksgiving autumn gratitude journal, whatever you would like to call it. I've added blessings on the front cover. I've used a kit from Artie Mays, and this is an image from her kit, and I thought it was so pretty. Then I've made a flower with a, some bling in the middle. Just layered them together there. We've got cardstock and what is this? Fabric. Muslin. That's what it is. Muslin. I love the paper. It is such a pretty color. Autumn color. This is a hardcover. Um, image that comes from the kit. I've die cut it and then added another black die cut on the back to make it pop a little. That's so pretty. I love the colors in this kit. Stenciling. A stamp. I've added some. It's from a different kit that I found on Etsy that does definitions of autumn things. And so this sunflower here. Pocket with postcard. A collage from a tag from the kit. And this is vintage book page on the back. Another tag from the kit and grid paper on the back. This is the only one that does not come from the kit, I think. Anyway, this is um, Tsunami Rose. A library card. And a tag. This is one of those that I take scrap pieces and I fold them in half and then make a tag so it's it's a lot sturdier. From one of her background pages I've made an envelope with a little bit of collaging on the front. A couple of journal cards I've stenciled around in beautiful colors and then I've stamped on top of that with leaves so the leaves have kind of a color to them. I've stamped some wheat on there and a tag that I've made. We're stenciling at the top there. She has these beautiful journal cards that I've turned into pockets, but of course you can still journal on them. And I've taken some grocery list paper and tea dyed it. I thought the colors were autumn and there you go. Another journal card with some leaf stamps on there. And a journal card from the kit. And this is, oh, I don't know, last year, year before. Goodness, I don't know. Yeah, that's, the, that's right. Um, one of those, but it was left over from another Artie Maze kit, so I thought I'd throw it in. Some sunflowers I found and fussy cut out. golden tuck spot here with uh, three pages sewn together, stamped, and then just some ephemera from the kit, crisp paper on the back of that one. This I found at an estate sale and the colors looked very autumn to me, so I had a piece of that in there. Another um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden, and this is Mrs. Cox. Ledger paper that's been stenciled, an image from the kit that I've wanted a little smaller, so I die cut it. And then this is scraps left over from last year's autumn from from Artie Mays, oh, I can't even think. And then this I got from a calendar. Tuck spot here. Um, a journal card with thankful hearts. Actually, it's a card face, and I don't know where I got it. Um, some beautiful brown lace, and some pretty die cut flowers, and then stenciling on the back. 
and blessings with lines on the back of that one. And another tag there. Another text pot with some more stamping. Three pages again sewn together. More stenciled leaves. A fussy cut from the kit. And then I stamp thanks. Another tuck spot there. I've done a black die cut. Um, <laughs> what's the word I want? Lined around it, uh, highlighted. What is the word? Anyway, with um, gel pen. <laughs> Another grocery list with sunflowers on it. Tea dyed. This I got just recently from a, an estate sale. It's like a Hummel, but it's also a postcard. Isn't that awesome? So you can use it as a postcard or a journal card. I did stencil on it. The colors, though, I thought were autumn. It was very cute. Another journal card from the kit. And this is, the background is happiness and crafting. One of her freebies and then Artie Mays and are just fussy cut a bit so that yeah, I thought they went lovely together. Stenciling. Gorgeous. It's such a pretty place to put images of autumn or quotes from autumn or just family at Thanksgiving, things like that. So this is an envelope that comes with the kit. I've stamped give thanks on it. Another little bit of collaging there. And another beautiful autumn image stenciling at the bottom, lying on both sides. Another tag that I've made. Postcard pocket with a stamping that I've die cut out. Beautiful tag from the kit vintage book page on the back. That's my favorite tag, isn't that pretty? And then I've added a label and more vintage book page on the back. And another tag. I have double, doubled up that one as well. Very sturdy. Some seam binding there with some more stamping. pretty. This is from Pinterest. The label is from the innkeeper. There's a pocket behind. Also from Pinterest. So pretty. And then this does lift up. Stems of flowers at the top and bottom corners. And on the back you've got a bit of a collage with one more ticket from innkeeper and the label is from Roxy's Creations. And that is my latest. I hope you like it. It'll be available in my shop soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.